welcome back to my channel um, excuse my hair it's not having its day today but yeah I hope you guys are doing well and welcome back as you can tell by the title today I have this super glam affordable festive Christmassy party uh, everything kind of look going on and um, yeah I try to use the most affordable products I could find that I love and yeah some of these products I love 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 and some of them I'm trying for the first time today and I'm gonna let you guys know my opinion but most of these products are my ultimate favorite of the year it didn't take me long to film this look either so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and without further ado let's get on with the video I have a bunch of affordable makeup I have some options as well and yeah we are gonna get straight into the tutorial makeup session get ready with me sort of thing so we're going to be using two primers and i'm going to be using the revolution pro pore primer and um, this beautifully fills in your pores and it just makes your face look so smooth it reminds me of the benefit um pore minimizer but much cheaper and i also have this in my kit whenever i have clients and yeah um if they have large pores this just works perfectly and i'm also using the unicorn elixir drops and these are the primer drops from Barry M. I love this stuff and look how pretty it looks like. Ooh. I think I've finished it already. I've used it so much recently. It's really hydrating. It smells really good as well. It doesn't really um, minimize any of your pores but it makes your just your face really smooth and um, glowy and it, it's got like a sticky formula. It's pretty sticky so it's going to help um, your foundation stick onto your face for longer it's going to make the application process a lot easier and after I've applied that everywhere I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro um, around the center points of my face and I also like to apply primer underneath my eye eyes I don't know is that weird but I just feel like it helps not crease my like concealer that much just helps a lot and the second thing we're gonna move on is eyebrows I always do my eyebrows first it just helps me shape my face and my makeup just flows you know it just flows in that direction so I tried the LA girl brow pomade and I absolutely love it it's like a bit um, lighter than the color I usually use and I really like doing that these days because my hair is a little bit lighter so I like to use this and this is in the shade dark brown and as always I'm going to be using my Anastasia brush I'm actually going to use this little Anastasia brush today it's in the number 15 and I just love the Anastasia brushes for my eyebrows I have not used anything else apart like apart from Anastasia ever since I got my hands on them so yeah I'm just gonna be doing my brows and yeah I just keep getting a lot of backlash on having <laughs> mono brows but I just generally I have a droopy eyebrow okay so I've only realized that naturally this eyebrow I think is a bit higher than this one this one's always just been low and I've been, I've been like following that natural eyebrow for years and I've been doing it wrong all this time and um, recently I found out that like just drawing a line from here to the other side of my eyebrow just like that um, it just helps me shape my eyebrows so much better see how that's so low and this is so high look I have a little gap and I used to always draw it from here but it's that's not right I just look like I've got a weird um, Botox <laughs> on my face hence I've been like drawing a little monobrow to help shape my eyebrows and also if you haven't noticed I have no hairs like going up so I always like to just like draw hairs going up in the front and they're so spaced out and I do not like that and I like the narrow eyebrow look hence I go in like that and and it's to help my brows look symmetrical because I don't want a high and a low eyebrow and that's what I've been doing for years and I do not want to continue doing that. I know it doesn't look perfect but when I conceal it it will look so much better. So after having it somehow symmetrical I'm going to be concealing them um, with a lighter shade of concealer. And that literally made the eyebrows look so much better they just look so much sharper and yeah I just love doing this technique to get like fresher and sharper and just 
bold eyebrows. I just I just love it. And to set the eyebrows, I'm using this NYX tinted eyebrow mascara, and this is in the shade Espresso. After that's done, I move on to the eyes always because I don't want to be putting in foundation and concealer when there could be fallout. So today I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette. It just looks perfect for this time of the year. It's like a really nice fall holiday palette. It has your neutral, tone, neutral tones here. There is like a green eyeshadow here and there is the darks. To prime my eyelids, I always just use concealer and I'm going to be using the Colourpop one. This is the No Filter Concealer and I love this concealer so much. So to start off, I do not know what shadow to use. Um, it would help if my brushes were clean as well. I literally have no clean brush. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. But right off the bat, I can see that the eyeshadow is very pigmented, um, which is really nice because e.l.f. eyeshadows before, they didn't really have a lot of pigment. They looked really nice on the pan, but when you applied it on the eyes, they weren't that great for blending. I don't know, it just wasn't that pigmented. But this eyeshadow palette that they came out with, this is like insanely buttery. It's so soft and smooth. And as you can see, I am literally blending out the eyeshadows so quick and easy so this is like perfect go-to eyeshadow palette now i am going to go in with this dark brown shade and we're going to apply that on the outer third half of my eyes now i'm going in with the darker shade um that's in the palette look how rich and pigmented that is and i'm just going to use the same brush to blend everything out After that's blended out really nicely, I'm going to be taking these two shades right here. These are so pretty and I cannot not use them. So I'm going to cut my crease first using my Colourpop concealer again. Wow, do you see how pretty that looks? It's just so stunning and it's so buttery and pigmented and smooth oh, and it's not flaking which is amazing. Then I'm going to be taking the darker shade right here. It's like a pink, it's like a really nice maroon shimmery shade. So I'm going to be taking this shade and putting it in between this shade and this shade so everything just blends in together. Then I'm going back with the same brush I used initially and tapping a bit on the dark and the lighter shade right here, these two shades. And then like tapping them lightly on the edge of the shimmery shade so everything just blends in together. Um, yeah, to finish this off, I'm going to be using the Collection Makeup Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Eyeliner and it's basically like glitter. Um, eyeliner and it's just so affordable it's only like three pounds or four pounds I'm just gonna be adding this on top and to get the perfect wing I'm gonna be using the NYX um that's the point eyeliner pen this pen is so good for affordable eye pens it's just so matte and it's just so black and intense and it has the tiniest tip which just makes everything so much easier so I'm just going to be doing my usual eyeliner. For lashes, you guys know my absolute favourites. These are the LA Page um, Trends. Uh, LA Page Trends um, um, eyelashes. I do not know the name of these because for mascara, I'm going to be using the NYX Stacked Mascara. Um, I used to love this back in the day and yeah, I just stopped using it because I got some new ones. And I like those better, but like for a drugstore, um, this is really, really good and affordable. So um, after I apply the lashes, it takes a while for it to dry, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And as you can see, it literally just lifts my eyes so well. These lashes, I just love them so much. And they're really lightweight, so you can use them every day if you want to without any eye makeup. And as you can see, I didn't get that much fallout. I just got a little bit, but that's okay. We can use a little wipe to get rid of it. 
and now it's time for the base um yeah to make my skin glow because my skin looks very matte right now i'm gonna be using the sleek um highlighting elixir i love these so much these are literally like almost a dupe for the iconic london drops these are just so pretty i have the dark one the pink one and also this one um i like to use the dark one when i have like a really light foundation and i can mix the darkness of the highlighter and also the whiteness of my own foundation and mix it together it just makes the perfect shade and it also makes it very glowy um sometimes i feel like when i use this one i do look a lot lighter but yeah this this um this is perfect when I have like a darker foundation going on, which I am going to be using in a bit. And for foundation, I have been loving the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. This is a high definition foundation. It's matte and yeah, I, I just love it. It just makes my skin so, so smooth and it just looks airbrushed. Like it just is insane. A lot of people hype about it. And yeah, this color is slightly dark. I think the highlighter will make it look work look work nicely and i know this is not affordable but i love the iconic london hd brushes to apply my foundation um yeah just so good makes the application so fast and you don't have to sit there like blend everything in and don't worry about the monobrow we're gonna get rid of it in a bit uh I'm gonna use concealer and get rid of it. Ooh, the new episode of Riverdale is out. Who watches Riverdale? Oh my god, I just find it so like thrilling watching it. I don't know. It's so good. Gonna be using the uh, Maybelline Pore Eraser. Pore Eraser? Sorry, Eye Eraser. Yeah, the Eraser Eye Anti Age um, Concealer. Um, this is really good. It's been my get go. To it's been my go to since three years ago I believe and I've probably gone through like 20 of these I love this and um, while we're at it this is when I get rid of the monobrow so I just apply this and then I blend it out in a bit but yeah I'm just gonna apply this everywhere basically to bend bend to blend up my concealer I'm using the beauty blender because I can't find my morphe sponge but I really like my morphe sponge And I cannot walk out the house without baking my under eye because it creases so bad. And I use the VC. I use the Vichy Derma Blend um, powder, and this is really good. I believe you can find it in Boots, but I don't know if it's like um, drugstore because it is quite pricey. But yeah, I love this powder. It's very smooth and it's translucent, so it fits all skin types. Um, I just use this to set my under eyes because they crease so bad then I like to take a really big brush this is from Iconic and press the powder into my skin now we're going to move on to my under eye and I'm just going to go back in with the same palettes same colors that we use so this color and this and this, I'm going to apply on the bottom eyelash and we're not going to apply any of these shimmer shades because I, I, I just don't, yeah, that would just look weird. So I'm just going to apply all the matte transition and darker shades under my eye. I'll follow up by applying the mascara on my bottom lashes. Moving on to my ultimate favorite product um this year is the bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer um they used to have an old version but they discontinued that and they made like a new packaging i'm in the shade coco cutie we're almost there i'm using this new elf highlighter um i got through the post and look how pretty this is I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up but it is so gorgeous um, yeah and this is in the shade of white gold um, let's see how this looks because it looks like it's gonna be perfect for my skin tone and it is oh my god that is beautiful
I love like a white gold highlight. I love the Amruzi one. And this one feels and looks just like that one. I'm going to be taking a small brush and then applying this in my inner corner. And we are going to make sure this face is really, really snatched and it won't come off for your party and everything. So yeah, we're going to use the Morphe setting spray. I have been loving the setting spray as, like, as soon as I got my hands on it. It just melts your makeup in so well together. You might not be able to see the difference on camera, but in real life, it just makes everything look so good. For lip liner, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Lip Liner. After I bought this from Beauty Bay, I fell in love and absolutely love this shade. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Matte, um, Matte Me from Sleek, and this is in the shade shabby chic this is the final look um, I'm gonna quickly do my hair and I'll be right back and this is the final look guys I quickly straighten my hair it's not having its best day it looks very flat and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot of things from watching um, me speak and um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the products I used and let me know if you guys do decide to recreate this look it's super easy it was super fun right I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>